All right, for science, um, we are going to do the article in the packet for week three. So let me pull that up. It is called, How Does Gravity Pull Things Down to Earth? So I'm going to just read through it with you. Um, and then you just have some multiple choice questions to answer about it. And that's all. And this should be kind of review from when we learned a little bit about gravity during our solar system unit. So we have this picture with a caption, which we talked about in reading yesterday. Um, Everything in the universe has its own gravitational pull. When you throw an apple into the air, the Earth's gravity pulls it back down. But that's not the only thing that's happening. The gravity of the apple is also pulling on the Earth. Okay. So, gravity is a force. It pulls on objects. Everything in the universe has its own pull because of gravity. That includes large, obje large objects such as Earth. It also includes small objects. It even includes you. Isaac Newton was a scientist. He studied gravity. The legend goes that Newton was sitting under an apple tree. He watched an apple fall to the ground. He wondered why it did not go up to the sky instead. Newton ran experiments. Then he realized something. The force of gravity depends on an object's mass. Mass is how much material is in an object. The more mass an object has, the greater its force of gravity. But that was not all he discovered. Gravity also depends on the distance between two objects. The force gets smaller if the objects are far apart. Let's take a trip around our universe. We can see how gravity works. All right, so it says, let's play soccer. We'll start by playing a game of soccer. You kick the ball into the air. The Earth's gravity pulls it back down, but the gravity of the ball also pulls on the Earth. The Earth is much larger than the ball, so it also, or it is also much more massive. So the earth has a stronger gravitational pull. It is not affected by the pull of the soccer ball. Instead, the ball is affected by the pull of the earth. That is why the ball is pulled back down to the earth. So because the ball is bigger, that's why it's the one falling towards earth. And then if you look over here on the side, this should look very familiar to you from what we did during our solar systems and when we talked about gravity back away, okay? Try to take your brain back there. Out in space. Our next stop is outer space. Let's take a look at the sun. The sun is much bigger than the earth, which you should also know. It is also more massive than the earth. This means it has a strong gravitational pull. The sun's gravity helps keep all the planets circling around it. Now let's look at the moon. The pull of gravity is not the same everywhere. Remember that more massive objects have stronger gravity. The Earth is larger than the moon. It also has more, it is also more massive. This means the force of gravity is stronger on Earth than on the moon, which is why the moon is staying around the Earth because it's bigger and it pulls it in. Let's say you are walking on the moon. Your mass stays the same, but your weight changes. An object's weight depends on its mass. It also depends on the force of gravity on the object. Gravity's pull on you is weaker on the moon. That is why you weigh less on the moon. This also explains why you can jump higher on the moon, okay? So if you look at this picture on Earth, this is just regularly how you jump because of how much gravity or how much gravitational pull we have. The moon, there's less, so you can jump higher. It's showing that Jupiter is more massive, it's bigger, okay, than the Earth. So if you tried to jump, you couldn't really go up at all. And then this, because it has a more gravi more of a gravitational pull on Jupiter than Earth does, because you're still able to jump at least a little on Earth. Then if you look in the sun, it's so massive. Its gravitational pull is so large that it would just like pull you right into the sun because it has that much gravity. Okay. And then um, this is the quiz. I'll just read these questions with you quickly. And then um, you can... Uh, just answer them, circle them, whatever, and then post them right back on. So what makes an apple fall down? That should be easy. Which sentence from the section out in space, so make sure you look at that spot, that section specifically, explains why gravity is stronger on Earth than on the moon? Which item has the most gravity? So you have to look at these and decide. Uh, what detail in the article shows that shows what Isaac Newton discovered. 
So I'm not asking what did he discover, but what in the article showed us that. Um, does a house pull on earth? And then it says, read the sentence below from the introduction, paragraphs one through four. The legend goes that Newton was sitting under an apple tree. What is a legend? So you need to pick that. How much would a dog weigh on the moon? So think about if you need help with that one, I would probably go back to that picture to give you a little bit of help in that section. Um, read the selection below from the section and out, out in space. An object's weight depends on its mass. So what does the phrase depends on mean? And that's the last one. So those shouldn't be too terrible. There's a couple more like literacy-based questions in there, but then also some more science-y ones. All right, and that's all you need to do for science today.